this DPS lineup here. Uh, is Wayfast going to have a somber performance where he gets an EMP off this time, though? Because uh, we know we know what this guy, we know what this man has run into on this map before, and I think he wants to avoid that at all costs here today. Oh man, I think the uh, that's funny. Anyway, <laughs> going back to this game, I appreciated that joke. Four minutes on the clock. Don't know why I said that. Start the game. Out of my game now. It is going to be starting off with Olu on this Genji. And so this is something that we see a lot on Assault Maps. This is where we'll see a majority of the variety of compositions in terms of things that aren't goats. And so uh, the defense are going to be running a crossfire with Ash and Hanzo. The offense running closer to dive with that Genji. And I'm really going to be looking out for Olu. Olu, uh, when he played Genji on the last jump that I saw in Playable Sky on, he actually had some really nice dives and some really good damage output onto key targets like the Hanzo, like the Ash. So if he's able to get the amount of damage and get some good combos onto them, burst them down before they can get a lot of value out, that's really what out of my game is going to need to try and get their way through this first point. Oh, and I like the way that out of my game is using those tanks to jump into the back line, using that dive exactly how it is designed, but they weren't able to get the kill fast enough, and that's why you're seeing them go it down as Mouse get, get two kills on this ass, getting closer to that Bob, 50%. Yeah, and unfortunately that dive came in, but the rest of the team, the rest of the out of, team for out of my game was just sectioned off behind the enemy team. So Wayfast was just sitting there, not really doing much. Chalky Milk was sectioned off and was getting shot by Polly, and they weren't really ha able to have that Lucio come with them and heal them. So unfortunately, out of my game, the dive didn't work as cleanly as they would have liked it to. All right, let's see if they're going to be able to clean up the rough spots on this dive as they're going to be trying again out of my game, getting closer to that Dragon Blade. That's a really quick way to open up a point as they're going to try to take some of this high ground. She's Money Crew is going to seed a little bit of that space, but not before they do get some ultimate charges. Gustav going to go ahead and use that Valkyrie right away during this fight. Dragon Strike going to be used as well, so Slur going to be having that Transcendent. She's Money Crew during a lot of these poke wars that we've seen so far, getting very close to all of their ultimates. Gustav using that Valkyrie, I believe, does push out of my game off at this point they're gonna wait until that is gone before out of my game tries to come in again with way fast emp pulls is d mech thanks to a nice stun going on to him but now it's up to out of my game and hey we gotta we gotta we gotta fix something at this point we haven't even been able to touch the objective and Polly's gonna go down there, but it's probably not gonna mean that much. There is the res available, I believe, for Gustav here. It gets them probably back in the fight, so nothing really lost here. But out of my game, coming back into this next fight, are gonna have the combo that they need to win this point. They have the EMP and the Nano Blade. That's really what you're gonna be looking out for. Slur has to sidestep the EMP. He needs to hit this Transcendence, or else Olu is gonna have a field day in the back line and kill everyone on the side of uh, out of my game. Or she's my crew. Well, you know, the thing about the EMP is that you have to find, like, we use the word value all the time, but we're gonna talk about that a little bit later, is we got a nice Apex Blade shot with this Dragon Blade on that Nano, we're gonna go ahead and cut through Gustav and Mouse, and out of my game, do you finally have a numbers advantage on this first point for the first time since the beginning of the round? They will be taking it in at the end after they do clean things up. JK, not long again for this point. She's Money Crew, gonna have to try again on point B. And Polly there, unfortunately, falls off the map, I believe, something that he probably didn't mean to do, and then the Nano Blade was Able to just come in from Olu and Kas, and they didn't even need to, they just burst through the transcendence like nothing else. Unfortunately, Wayfast even kept his EMP for this next fight. If they decide for out of my game, they just want to roll into this next point. I want to give a little bit of props to that Apex play. That's the second one I've seen in three days so Those far. Are so nice. Yeah, so, so nice. good good stuff there. Anyway, Shoes Money crew have this defense. They do have Bob. So, you know, the thing about Bob is it's not it's just an extra member on the field. You can push a lot of resources. You can find a lot of value. You can push people off of the point as well. It oh, seems that's no. how we're going to use that Bob. Wayfast is gone. We still haven't seen that EMP, Kenobi. Yeah, and unfortunately, Wayfast got scouted out there by the Diva. Really good scout there from Barbecue, and that's something he's been doing a lot whenever he sees the Sombra. He's always just shooting. You have infinite ammo as D.Va. Why not just use it and try and scout the best you can? And that's really unfortunate for out of my game is they're going to have to bleed a little bit more time off of this clock and let Shoes Money Crew get some more toward percentage toward those ultimates. Well, the, the, at least the good, if there is a consolation prize, at least they have ultimates themselves. The JK was hacked and then taken down. That's come good play from him way fast. The EMP gonna come through now to try to finish off this point. Maybe after the Diva Bomb goes off to make sure she doesn't get back into that mech, but killing her is a really good way to do that. They don't even need these ultimates so far. As Shoes Money Crew have given them all of this space, as JK are gonna have to do a lot of work with his Primal Rage to knock out of my game off of this objective. This is Assault, so the spawn timers for Shoes Money Crew 
are very friendly. Slurk and Plus and Coalescence as well. With fast going down, the value of these kills for the defense are absolutely enormous. As three people do get hacked, thanks to that EMP, and two of them will be going down. Adam and Gamer are going to maintain their advantage in this fight, and it looks like they will be taking it in the end. Choose Money Crew do have two members left. Maz is going to sprint, run that little 5k back to spot, uh, back to the objective, unable to make it. Round one is complete. Out of my game after getting stopped on point A, do some good work on point B. And unfortunately for Mouse, he kept maybe the Ash ult a little bit longer than I would have liked. Bob got absolutely no value in that last fight, died almost immediately. And when you're really just banking on the Bob and it gets blown up that quickly, it's not doing what you want it to do. You want it to be there to stall. And as soon as the Bob came out, it got blown up immediately. Good target selection there coming out from the enemy team. So I, I wish that maybe they would have swapped a little bit earlier because Bob really didn't do what you wanted it to do in that last fight. Well, and you you spend so much time getting that getting that ultimate, right? You need it to right. be effective. You you get you don't even get a one shot kill on a headshot, right? It's all trying to get to this Bob. And while you can pepper in some damage to help the rest of the team, eventually you're just kind of putting burns on people, right? Not really doing much else. And and when you're putting burns on people and you already have Bob, basically what you're saying is, all right, well, the enemy team, guess what? You can have some free healing alt charge. We saw with yep. uh, the Moira there was getting so much value out of just healing his team throughout the, all the dynamite that was coming in because you already had Bob. You're not really getting any value yourself coming out from this. So would have liked to have seen maybe a change a little bit sooner or the Bob used a little bit more proactively than just said, oh, okay, it's the last fight. Let's throw it out there and see what happens. Yeah, there's definitely a world on Choose Money Crew where Polly does come out on the Genji. It's a world that we might live in. And so my question to you, so. uh, Kenobi, is when you have such a deep hero pool, do you sometimes get into some trouble being like a jack of all trades, master of none? There, there are some instances where that can happen. I think you should really just narrow your hero pool, especially with the, because his Ana looks really good. I, I think that it's interesting that he is going to go to the Genji here if this continues to stay, because I think you have an issue sometimes where if you're playing all these different heroes, you're caught in two different mindsets. The mindset to play Genji is very different from the mindset to play Ana, right? So if you're continuing to switch between all those three, all those different mindsets, it might not be the best idea. Uh, that's a very, very good point, Kenobi. Love that. So out of my game, going to start off this defense using that double sniper. This time, Wayfax is going to be using the Widow. No Ash for out of my game. His cat's going to be taken down very early, but so is Polly. So this is a 5v4 right now for Shoes Money Crew. They do have a little bit more health as Coles is very close to getting demaxed. And Cass is not going to be there for the heals. Actually, out of my game doesn't have any support. So I'm a little surprised Shoes Money Crew didn't aggress like more hardcore there, knowing that there were no supports in the field for out of my game. And I think Shoes Money Crew is going to take this. Gustav is down, so that's a pretty big kill there from Twolves, but I think Maus is just too high charge right now for them to try and get back onto this point. It might just be a matter of time before they get it. JK Law is going to be able to kill way fast, and this is just going to be a point taken for Shoes Money Crew here, and they're building up some ultimates to get into this next fight. They have the Nano available for them. They're going to have the Primal Rage as well from JK Law, but I expect them to maybe either switch off completely or just take a few moments to just wait, farm some more ultimates, maybe try and get Polly up to that blade so you can Nano Blade. But Shoes Money Crew doesn't have quite what they want to have. They really wanted this blade to come into point E with a little bit of momentum. They only have the nano. And a good nade coming from out of my game is going to keep the tanks a little purple for the time being. And they're actually going to get a couple of kills. Shoes Money Crew is going to have an opening for this fight. Actually, they're going to have a dragon blade for it too. Polly's able to get some heals. They were able to use the nano to break through the point. And now Polly's going to have to use the blade naked right now. Unsheathed it. Gets a kill onto Progi. Is this going to be enough to get all three ticks? It might be the JK Law just runs out of primal at the last second. They're gonna be able to stall a little bit more. That's a nice graviton to section them off the point, and Polly is just gonna slice and dice through the enemy team. Yeah, really good nade as well to follow that up. Self-destruct from Cole's not gonna get anything for Proge getting a kill on the JK. It makes things interesting for out of my game on it as a defense. Wayfest on the Doomfist as well. No doubt that was a desperation Doomfist, but it totally worked, my friends. As Shoes Money Crew only able to get two picks. So here I expect Shoes Grunemaker to maybe switch off the Genji here. Polly's going to go on to the Brigitte. I like this decision here. May go towards more of a three uh, triple tank, triple support. They're going to go full goats actually with the Ana instead of the Zenyatta because you do have that Nano. And as we saw, the Nano going on to Mouse. If Mouse is high enough charge, that's a ton of damage coming out from the Zarya. So maybe they're going to use that and maybe try and get Mouse towards more of that Graviton charge. How versatile that character is in oh, what an with Nada as well. JK Law getting the first kill onto all of the Shoes Money Crew have a huge opening now. This is 6v4 to start things off to only get one. One tick on both Sky Energies on this point B. Out of my game, still very low as well. Wave fast getting taken down, so there's only three members left for them. These spawns have to really come in handy, but I don't know if they have enough time to actually make it back. But Olu and the Lucio, though, gonna give some of Adamai game time to come back. 
specifically that Wrecking Ball. Choose Money Crew still has that five members. Another good day to make sure that Wrecking Ball, for some reason, is not going to be able to get healed up from the supports of Adamai Game. The stall is still going, Kenobi, but Choose Money Crew still ahead. I think it's just a matter of time right now between both these teams. There is the May available, so they might be able to stall just a little bit longer here. It is close. It's a 5v2 right now on the point. The rally is there as well, but it just doesn't matter at this point. Paul Ike's comeback on that Hammond is doing so much damage and so much stall. It's not going to mean that much. Well, for a glass half full type of people, at least we can say out of my game. Stall here is taking at least 20 seconds off the clock. You know, we're getting close to four minutes now. Out of my game, slowly coming back. They're still not out of this. Wave has coming back on that Tracer. Self-destruct now, maybe? No, maybe not. Mouse is going to have that Nano this time they're around as well. But they're still coming. This fight is still happening, Kenobi. Yeah, they keep going. The sound barrier is there. The shatter committed just to wave fast on that tracer. Get that pesky tracer out of the way. Just in time. Can't stall anymore. And as you mentioned, you know, for the people who are last half full, pretty good stall there coming out. Yeah, you know, and the, and the funny thing there is I don't think Shoes Money Crew needed to give up all that time. It was when Olu and the Lucio were on the point stalling for an extra 5-10 seconds, and once that Wrecking Ball came back, they had a really good group of people coming back at once. I think they got 4-5 to five at once, but they still lost out on that fight. What could have been over 5 minutes is now 4 minutes and 11 seconds. Out of my game within that minute, coming up on our extra innings here on Volskaya. And for that fight going into that last fight with the stall fight, the really the clutch players there were Shoes Money Crew's supports. You had a really nice anti-nade to get Olu out of the fight early. And then you had a clutch, clutch sound barrier on the high ground that was able to keep both of your tanks alive because they were sub 100 health, both of them. If they die in that fight, there's no way that Shoes Money Crew is able to even get towards that last point. So great play from the supports in that last fight going into that stall. And then after the stall happened, it was pretty good stall you mentioned, but unfortunately they're still going to have four minutes and 11 seconds, whereas out of my game, going to have only three minutes and 16. Well, speaking of Shoes Money Crew, a little bit more, well, the question I want to ask you is why Mouse is on uh, Ash and out of my game is favoring the Widow. What is Ash offering other than Bob that might be a reason to pick her over the Widow, who is one shot, one kill? So you do have with Mouse, you have the ability to have Dynamite, and I think Dynamite is super strong. You're able to farm your ultimate just a little bit more, and while I think Bob offers a little bit more value instead of Widowmaker all, Widowmaker all is just, you know, you see everyone else, but Bob is basically at a seventh person onto the team, so I think ultimate is a lot of the reason why you have these Ash players, and Ash also has a lot of things that can counter, you know, dive tanks. You have the Coach Gun available, you have Dynamite, and if you have a Hanzo alongside with you, it's very hard for anyone to really dive onto this team. All right, let's see if it's going to be effective this time, as we haven't seen an Ash, like, pop off just yet today. We've seen it in the past, but right now, Mods is going to try to be the first one today. And now the bubbles are going to be going down for both. Winston's probably going to be the first victim here on this defense for Shoes Money Crew. And they're all actually dying pretty fast, as Barbie is hacked, so no defense matrix for the time being, as JK going to be going down as well. So out of my game, not losing a single member other than a mech on this first attack. They will be taking it, unless Shoes Money Crew grows some super... Super fast feet make it back onto the objective. And Costair hit a really nice anti onto Polly on the high ground, and the Hanzo wasn't able to be healed by the Mercy, so the Hanzo went down almost immediately. And then once that Hanzo goes down, you lose a lot of damage potential, as you could see. He wasn't really getting that much ultimate charge, and now Shoes Money Crew is switching over to more of a GOATS type of style of defense. JK Law gonna stay on the Winston here, and out of my game, coming into this fight, they're very close to the combo that they need the EMP Nano Blade. This is really what's gonna win them this fight. Slur does have that nano up close, very close to you. Barbie gonna get hacked one more time, so this is a good opportunity to throw those projectiles into the rest of the team to get those all charges. The hack is over now, out of my game. He's gonna be using that Dragon Blade nano for the right now, and he's gonna be slicing through the oh, back line. Ooh, nice very good sleep, that always feels good. Choose Money Crew now is gonna give a little bit of time to themselves to try to get back here and a kill onto Cass. That's huge coming from JK Law. No mech for Barbie was so close to that self-destruct and able to get there and now shoot money crew are exactly where out of my game was about five minutes ago on at this stall they only have three members left but the three members that are left two of them are exactly who you want in terms of stalling but with mouse getting hacked he's just sitting in duck there on the objective the point still has not been taken shoots money crew will have an opportunity to come back probably only with four members i think this is second verse same as the first they're just going to stall the best they can it's not going to mean much it's only a matter of time before this point gets taken here four out of my game but they are stalling really hard Ooh. for shoes money crew and gustav is able to get the pick on the chalky milk so that's absolutely huge 
Yeah, I believe that was because of a shield dash. With the EMP gonna hack three members. Now some gun, a sitting duck, unable to escape on that tracer. Actually, will be able to get out. Oh no, was bursted down right after the hack was ending. A nice kill onto Wayfast. So every kill that she's running through gets is another opportunity for them to get back on to this objective. With one minute left and another dragon blade, though, might be a little bit harder for them to defend. The rally might be enough. The armor mitigation is huge for them, and the shield dash. And we're seeing exactly why Zerg is so good against those dive uh, DPS members. And Bolton's gonna get a pulse off, not get the effect of it, but a lot of the health is missing. Out of my game, Elu is gonna be anti. There's only four members left from Shoes Money Crew to come Nano back. Tracer. This uh, objective, the Tracer is gonna be trying to do some damage. Out of my game has been pushed off, my friends. They held, like, it's insane that they were able to hold that with great target selection a whole minute, as you mentioned, and they're not stopping right here. Mouse is going deep into the enemy team. He's going to get the kill on the Olu, and now out of my game has to make some desperation swaps towards Goat's composition. They have no choice right now, and Mouse has this pulse bomb. He already had one in that last fight. If this is able to get onto Cass or Chalky Milk, that's best case scenario, and they'll be able to win this next fight. Uh, Caster cursed it, my friend. Uh, Mouse is going to be switching to the Zarya just in case. When in doubt, Goat's it out is what these two teams are saying out of my game walking in here on their last attempt they used almost all of their resources on that last fight they're losing their bodies very quickly on this one a shoes money crew gonna maintain a 64 advantage on the objective sound barrier was out so no more support ultimates from out of my game they were able to get slur in the end that's a good kill but they still need to find five more of them against shoes money crew somehow but out of my game is losing members now they're gonna lose out on the objective round three complete they were unable to get that last tick so if shoes money crew are able to get a little bit more than two ticks they will be taking in this and moving up two to one on the map score you see it 99.5 percent that's how close they were so basically here for shoes money crew you have to get this second point all the way through so with four minutes and 11 seconds they definitely can but what a stall they had on that last point mao is really showing the power of tracer in these types of stall fights and especially with one who is as good as he is we talked about it you know mao was playing on zarya zarya's looked really good but his tracer is also from past experience is also very good in its own right. So getting those two pulse bombs in that fight, absolutely huge. And now Shoes Money Crew is gonna be able to try and win this map. The win condition is set for them, whereas out of my game, they need to have the defense of their life. 99.4% for them. So that's a little bit longer than two ticks, but all Shoes Money Crew needs to do is take more than 99.4. So they have to get to point B. They've got enough time to get point A. It's all about the resources snowballing into that second point that Shoes Money Crew are really going to be focusing on. And it's I, I, I don't know if Shoes Money Crew is going to run out on this composition that they have uh, set up right now. But for out of my game, this is a very stall composition. You have the crossfire set up with the double sniper. You have Kaz who can keep your uh, tanks line up and ready to go. You have Chalky Milk who is going to have those reses available for him. So out of my game is going to have this stall potential. But Polly is going to be staying on this Genji. So again, look out for these nano blades. If they can win this first fight quickly and then use nano blade on that second fight, that's really what they want to go for. They want to win this first fight quick and then have the ability to maybe use the grab nano combo that's basically what they want well even though shoes didn't necessarily show themselves the sonic arrow from out of my game showed out of my game exactly what team comp they were looking at is a nice headshot from way fast almost takes someone out slur though does get out of the way shoes money crew still going to be trying on at this offense this is broken down into some skirmishes right now it's way fast setting up that crossfire but now jk law is it down this could be a good opportunity for them to reset but with a couple kills going the other way this is still anybody's game probably getting the kill onto hanzo too and this widow is going to open things up for them 22 hp 4 hp there at the end he does get taken down out of my game's gonna get a double kill from it Pulse, who is going to be d back and now the offensive spawns are gonna be coming in handy as shoes money crew are at least gonna get a tick here and now out of my game has to switch here to a different composition they have to go goats that's their best case scenario right now cause i don't know if he's gonna be staying on this ana just for the anti or just try to get that nano no he's gonna go to zen that's a good pick from him and shoes money crew i think they're gonna bank on having this genji blade and this anna nano they have three minutes left so they can farm up to it play a little bit more patiently and wait for the perfect time to use it I love what you said there. I think a lot of teams think, oh, we got to get it. The momentum is here, but they have three minutes and so they know when and how to take this. So get those ultimates, take your time. No need to rush this. It's like this push can be a fine wine, right? The age just makes it better. And so Shoes Money Crew, they're going to let those ultimates come up. Kenobi, that Dragon Blade is going to be exactly when that engagement is going to happen. Yeah, it's very close. And if they wanted actually to just make it so that they have all their ultimates, they could also just wait for Mouse's Graviton's Graviton, Nano Blade combo, get everyone in that hug. But there's the Nano, and it comes out with the blade. 
Oh, uh, the blade comes out. Olu will be the first victim, and he's gonna have to try to get find some other ones. Two members now down for out of my game. Three now, no support, no transcendence now for out of my game. She's Money Crew looking very, very good, but is it gonna be enough to capture the entire circle? She's Money Crew have used all of their ultimates. They do not have that Zarya, so no protective barriers for them. Wayfast going down. These out of my game are in the same situation, but their spawns are gonna be a lot better coming from their side. The transcendence now coming from Cash is gonna be coming back from the point, gonna keep the remaining members of out of my game. There's only four left onto the Caleb. A bio onto Olu who's gonna confirm that kill. So they're still stalling out. This Skaya so far has been the story of the stall. And Pro gonna come back on Hammer, so that's even more stall potential that they have. They still haven't even gotten the second tick yet. Move. Double Gravitons all the way across the sky. Uh, they happened at the exact same time. Hughes Money Crew do have that support ultimate, though, to make sure that they are still alive. And look at Polly, gonna have another Dragon Blade. Sir gonna use that Nano right away because why not at this point? Hughes Money Crew's Polly is gonna slice and dice through the back lane a little bit more. They will be finishing this out, my friends. Hughes Money Crew move up two to one against out of my game. That was probably the most Volskaya map I've ever seen. Just stall after stall. We went to two yeah, rounds dude, of it. I am it's... like, I am <laughs> cursed with like, love I, I, al yeah. okay. uh, I always have like, two C uh, assault for me is always, I've never seen an assault end in like the first round. It's always going to second rounds. Never a 2-2 two -two score, always 3-2, three 4-2, two, four -two, four -three, Hey, Kenobi, like but hey, let's not do this because we're not gonna complain about more good Overwatch. No, right? absolutely not. And so LaFont, tell us why that Overwatch might have been better or maybe worse than some others that we've seen. <laughs> I think it's actually better, right? That's a, That was a fun one to watch here, uh, understanding. I think one of the coolest things about Volskaya in this current patch is just the variety we got to see. Um, we got to see goats. Um, we got to see Ana goats. We got to see Genji Sombri, uh, Gen Genji Sombra. Um, I think she hacked my tongue there. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, no, I think that one of the coolest things about Volskaya now is just the sheer variety. We, we saw the uh, Ash Widowmaker variants too, like the difference between the, the 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 way the teams played it. One of the cool things about Ash, and Kenobi did actually touch on this on the Dynamite, is that when you're running the Mercy, is not only is the Dynamite more valuable, but against Squishies, she still one-shots you. So, you know, if you if you do have that damage amp, it's still a ton of value in that Ash versus Widowmaker duel because you can actually take her in that medium range fight. Not in the long range so much, but then you're pressuring the Widow out of good sight lines too. So there is actually still a very good reasons why you want to run the ash in that composition um i, I think uh, kenobi uh, one of the cool things i saw is you talked about patience in that last in that last fight and mm -hmm. smc has really just in, like patience has been the name yeah. of the game in the last few maps for them they really are willing to take a couple losses here to win out the remainder of the fight yeah in my opinion i think patience is a mark of an a team that's improving or experienced, right? Once you have that patience, that means you have that inherent ability to know, right? To know exactly how to do the next thing and possibly as a team. And if SMC are figuring that out together, that's absolutely terrifying for the rest of EU trials right now. And remember, this is a, a fight to see who's going to be on top with Young and Beautiful. Whoever wins this will be in first or second place going into next week and setting themselves up to potentially getting into contenders proper. But we still have one more maybe two more maps to go let's see if we're gonna see this game at five but shoes money crew though currently up 2-1 against omg we'll see you soon
Choose Money Crew are coming into Rialto up two to one against Out of My Game in a set that has been thrilling so far, Kenobi. What are we looking forward to here on Rialto? We have three maps in, you know, in, in our brain banks now. Based on what we've seen, what do you think we're going to see out of Out of My Game on their first attack here? So I think you mentioned it before. This is the map of right angles, right, with Rialto. Yep. And Goats has seen a lot of prominence in this map. I don't expect what Out of My Game is running currently to stick. I think they're going to probably, if they see what Choose Money Crew is running, they're going to switch over to a Goats composition themselves, especially if they see the Moira. They could obviously just run out here and try and just dive the back line as well with Olu and Wayfast. Wayfast, we saw a little, he was a lot better than we've normally seen with him farming EMP in that, la in that last round than he is usually. And I like that Choose Money Crew is taking this advantage, this aggressive hold here, because this is going to force Out of My Game to switch over to a composition that Shoes Money Crew knows that they can beat them. That's exactly what's going to happen is the Zenyatta Goats is going to show up here as Shoes Money Crew running classic goats on their side. A good stun up to way fast means the particle barriers are going to be a little late, but not going to be early enough out of my game already with two kills on this attack. Shoes Money Crew now have a decision to make. Do they see the space or not? The answer is yes. As Shoes Money Crew are going to have to defend a little bit later in courtyard. And that's really disastrous for the side of Shoes Money Crew. You take that aggressive fight, but JK Law is the first one to die. You see how the difference is between these two Reinhardts. JK Law, 20% to ultimate Progi, Earth Shatter already. Progi is absolutely beating him in really bad in ult charge here. And unfortunately for JK Law, same same thing that we usually see sometimes that he's a little bit too aggressive and he's swinging when he's at you know 100 health 150 health things you don't want to be doing yeah aggressiveness is a lack of experience maybe we need to see some of that patience that we saw in that last game is out of my game now up two kills so it's a 5v4 right now it's going to be a little bit better for out of my game as this fight does go on and right now look at brogy go the earth is ready to launch and we talked about it earlier, Lafon mentioned it, JK Law just hasn't been able to play the game for the last couple of minutes. He just, he, Every time he walks into a fight, he's getting bursted down almost immediately. I want to see him reel it back in a little bit, use that shield a little bit more, because he's going into fights just swinging wildly, and he's getting Discord and popped open, so he really needs to rein it in if they want to have a chance to stop the bleeding. Graviton Surge is going to be a solo on to Froggy. Oh, but the shield's not going to be available for everyone else, but they do find ways to duck out of that self-destruct. Slur, though, going to get a kill on to Froggy, so this is the first good pick that Shoes Bunny Crew has had since the beginning of this round. And that's one of the things I like about using Gravitons like that, just solo grab. You solo grab the Reinhardt, get him out of the fight, stop the bleeding a little bit just so that you don't have to get rolled over and snowballed into that second point. Out of my game is going to come back with a lot more ultimates in this next fight, but Slur needs to get this uh, Transcendence before the grab comes out from way fast. If I'm a betting man, I think he will this time around. The Self-Destruct is going to take down JK. Slur is going to get to this uh, Transcendence. I wouldn't use it at this point. Maybe going to make you get a pick for it too. No, he's going to throw himself up you know i was i was hoping right maybe some volleys but no out of my game is going to get that first point and they're gonna have over four minutes to get through with this second phase of rialto yeah, slur they just said you know what i want to go for a swim i don't want to use my transcendence into a lost fight which i am really happy about because sometimes we see transcendence is committed to fights like that where you think you can win but it's definitely not the best idea to use it especially if you're coming back and you want to have it in case wayfast is able to charge up this graviton very quickly shoes money crew have both of their support ultimates but so do out of my game so it's going to be a battle of who can get the shatter off and who can shatter the backline best yeah, because the Zarya's are both pretty far away from those Graviton Surges, so the Shatters are going to be the most impactful ultimate that we've seen. We're going to see the first one go down. Only one stun so far. Onto Olu, I think, has him on the ground as well. That's why he is back in the spawn. He's going to die with that Transcendence. JK, at least he used the Earth Shatter before he did go down, and they're going to go ahead and trade kills through this. Reinhardt's is unavailable on both sides. Barbie trying to take that high ground. This is an anime battle that I love to watch. It's the defense just peppering very small bullets into each other. And Chalky Milk has been having a really nice game with his boops so far. He's always booping JK Lol into the enemy team. That's why JK Lol has been having such a rough time. He's always getting boofed and stunned into the enemy team, and it's unfortunate that he isn't able to live through all the damage that's being put out here. A self destruct for barbecue available if they want to try and combo. The Graviton Surge is going to come out of, out of my game at first, and then choose money through the Transcendence. I are there. Self destruct still available. Good stun onto JK. He's going to push him back, but Froggy's going down too. It's very interesting how these Reinhardts almost die at the exact same time same thing with the briggs occasionally but out of my game doesn't have that zarya way fast is gonna go back to spawn barbie skirting that dominance moving up making sure that these stagger kills are gonna find that value they're looking for yeah, barbecue's DV is really impressive in terms of the way he's using defense matrix but also his dps play as we know diva can pump out a lot of damage if you're hitting your shots and his tracking has been so far superb his micro missile users has been great as well so really liking what i've been seeing from barbecue so far 
Well, Barbecue, you, I, I think, is pretty well known as a good at D.Va. Let's see if the self-destruct is going to find anything. It's all about he's been pretty quiet so far. There's been other members of Shoes that I think have been a little bit more impactful, which is why we're seeing them up 2-1. at one. But right now, Shoes running through, none of them are being impactful, which is why we're seeing Adam my game still on this payload. Good news for Shoes Money Crews. They did take two minutes off the clock uh, so far. They still need to keep going. These turns do take a long time. Yeah, because even though you did lose that fight, you did take a lot of time off the clock, as you mentioned, and they are gonna they are gonna get probably one last fight into this mouse. It is gonna be close to this Graviton, but there is that transcendence from Cost to counter it. Uh, only if it's not late though. They've been pretty late recently, so Cost is gonna use that transcendence on time. No, Olu is dead! So Olu is dead, so he's gonna be able to take him down. The Earthside are gonna be knocking shoes money crew onto the ground as well. Three members to be specific. Now it's even. This is a 4v4. The Wayfast is gonna go down, but so is the mech from Barbie. So this is still anybody's game. Look how quiet it is. This is what it's depleted into. Eventually, Shoes Money Crew are going to get that defense, but it was a nice scrappy fight there. That was fun to watch. And the best part about that for Shoes Money Crew is you kept both the support ultimates available for this next fight, and you're going to need them because Wayfast does have his grab. Especially if Cost doesn't get his transcendence, you're going to be down 2-1 to one in support ultimate charge. And Boop, with 50 seconds left in the way that the, the, way that the payload is right now, you're going to get one last fight here for out of my game. And this is it for Adam. Oh, that's Gaming. a disaster. They, yeah, if, if they lose out, this is a pretty easy spot for Shoes Money Crew to potentially take in their attacking phase. There's only, this is one fight territory for sure. So coming into this Kenobi, out of my game need to do what? Out of my game needs to either eat the grab. The graviton that Mouse is gonna get, or they need to go aggressive with this uh, with this uh, sound barrier. Wayfast needs to also use this trans uh, this graviton very very quickly and make sure that he can force out at least one of the support ultimates. So far, none of that has happened. They do have a little bit of time. Maybe this is the patience that we were talking about SMC earlier. They. 20 seconds might not feel like a long time, but you still can't rush these things. So the grab is only going to get the Reinhardt, and the Reinhardt is maybe going to go down. Oh, the particle barrier maybe saves him just long enough to protect the rest of the team. Quolz is going to be stunned. Adam and Game do have a numbers advantage. Shoes Money Crew does have that rally grab and that sound barrier. Out of my game running out of those resources. Proki gets close to that Earth Shatter. We're still not done with this fight as Shoes Money Crew still have a couple members remaining, but not for long as Adam and Game looks like they will be grabbing the second point in overtime finally the alts come online for out of my game they use that graviton very well and were able to force out one of the transcendences unfortunately gustav died very early in that fight and wasn't able to get the sound barrier out I'm, if they had gotten that sound barrier out i think they would have been able to sustain and win that fight but unfortunately just didn't happen for them and mouse has a graviton and wave has already 60 percent towards another one of his so this graviton battle is pretty even so far out of my game, though, still have that Earth Shatter. Shoes Money Crew, it, though, they do have more resources on their side, so this defense might be looking to push some ultimates out of out of my game, especially if Cast is going to transcend it. Earth Shatter going to be going down way fast. Is a done. Cast still holding on to that. Oh, another Earth Shatter. Knocking a bunch of Shoes Money Crew down. Is it going to be enough? The answer looks like no, as the rest of out of my game being pushed back for a full reset. And Pro, he got so unlucky there. He hit a monster shatter, but the charge booped everyone away from where he was going to, where the follow-up was going to be happening. So unfortunately, he wasn't able to get any kills. The rest of his team wasn't able to clean up any of the kills as well. And that's just a disaster for the side of, out of my game. And Shoes Money Crew in this next fight, again, have a lot of ultimates to their name. Cost though, is going to have this transcendence to counteract the uh, grabs on a mouse. Has had this transcendence for so long, he is developing a cramp, as Ham Tornado would say. Out of my game, still has those ultimates, though. Shoes Money Crew, this is pretty even. This is an even fight. This is going to be skill-based. Who's going to be better at playing this team comp? The self-destruct landed on top of Brogy, but the particle barriers are going to be enough. JK Law getting the charge kill, so this is a 6 5 for Shoes Money Crew, but the team is going to make things a little bit more complicated for them. And now the Graviton Surge for out of my game is going to force the transcendence out on the other side. Gustav is down. No Lucio for them. The sound barrier now for out of my game is keeping them into this fight, but Shoes Money Crew are losing their members as well. Out of my game continuing on with their advantage. They have the better positioning. They have the space and they have this fight. And again, it's another huge boop from Chalky Milk on the JK Lol. He boops him backwards into the enemy team, and the Reinhardt goes down almost immediately from the damage from Wayfast into the Discord Orb. And now they're able to have the momentum to push into the second point. No ultimates for either side. The closest one is going to be JK Lol with the Shatter. If it can be huge, that's their best case scenario, but Cost needs to get this transcendence, not develop another cramp. If 
if it is huge is the answer there. Let's see if it will be. Out of my game doesn't have much to counteract that. Cast needs to be on the point with this transcendence. Cannot be late, cannot be early, and it cannot be forced out of the oh, nerfs that are not gonna find anybody. That if is a no in terms of that value, as Holly is gonna be going down. Out of my game though, losing their Reinhardt. Bowls very close to losing that mech as well. Does have that self destruct Dumpster into the backline will be grabbing way fast and cast at least. Out of my game now, still have an advantage here. Choose money for waiting for those respawn timers to come. We are in overtime respawn timers, so they are a little bit longer. It's gonna be a lot harder for Choose Money to stall from here on out. Out of my game still getting the kills they need as Moz is gonna be taken off the field. The sound they are gonna be hitting everybody Ooh. on Choose Money Crew, barely hitting JK there, so they're gonna be able to get back onto this payload and put up a defense. And Wayfast is so high charge, he gets the kill on the JK Lola as well, but he's going down. The sound barrier comes out as well, and that might be all they need to push this into the third point. Oh, is it all that they need? The Earth Shatter earlier was not what Shoes Money Crew needed, but this team fight is what out of my game needed as they do finish this in overtime. They wait, they lost a lot of time in the, the second phase, in their streets phase, but it doesn't matter as they are able to push through and finish Rialto. And that's so important because you do are are gonna get that minute if you know shoes money crew is able to push it all the way through you are gonna get that extra minute so finishing this map is super important giving yourself that extra chance to try and win but you're right they took a lot of time and getting into overtime is probably best case scenario especially with how those fights were going and how well shoes money crew was playing getting it towards that third point you can't ask for really anything else for out of my game that's basically their best case scenario they do have to finish the map, though, or else we're going to a game five between these two teams. Out of my game playing a lot better than a lot of people expected. Is this a team that maybe was always this good, and now they're getting to show it off against a team that is of a better caliber than some of the other ones they faced? Yeah, out of my game, I mean, we look at this roster and we see a lot of veteran talent I mean, and a lot of words. teams. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we see a lot of team that a lot of players that we know already. You know, you see Progi, Tools, Wayfast has just been has been here a long time. I don't remember the last time I casted him. It's been so long that I've been just seeing his name in EU trials and EU contenders. So this team is just built upon a lot of veteran talent. And now they're being tested by Shoes Money Crew here. And Shoes Money Crew, again, we talked about it a little bit. This is the first time they've been tested, and boy have they been tested by out of my game. What do you what do you think uh, what do you think their grade would be on that test so far? Uh, for for shoes my crew? Yeah. Uh, right now I'm hovering at like a B. If they win this okay. in the, if they win this map I'll give them I'll go up to an A. So winning would obviously get them to the A, but how do they get to that victory? We'll talk about that in just a second as the gates are gonna open with shoes money crew starting their attack and I love that these teams are starting the action off right away as again we saw earlier if they're if they die here they're back with more than enough time to defend once again so why not is the question as out of my game gonna do a little bit better than choose money crew on their up close defense this time around doing much better and that's the best case scenario for them is way fast has got a little bit good amount of charge for himself they're gonna back off though i like that they're doing this and not just standing on ceremony and waiting for them to come back they know that they're not gonna have the respawn advantage they're gonna be able to walk back and heal so you still did take 30 seconds off but you didn't feed that much all charge over to shoes money crew great play and great disengage from out of my game well, that's a lot of the reason why sometimes when you see people die in seed space, it's not necessarily because they're losing. They might be doing it on purpose to some next level plays as the Reinhardt's going to be across the corner. Look how aggressive JK is going to be trying to get up that Earth Shatter charge as Krogi is going to be going down with that Earth Shatter. So Shoes Money Crew definitely have an opportunity here to make some distance on this Halo. Barbie's going to be stunned and then DMX, but is that going to be enough for out of my game? And it looks like no, Shoes Money Crew are going to be ahead on some of those ultimates, but out of my game kept it close. And I like what these Lucius have been doing a lot lately is they're going towards the Reinhardt and booping him into the enemy team and they tag Discord on him and just burst down that Reinhardt almost immediately. It's the best way to win these fights from front to back. You kill the Reinhardt and then you go towards every other person on the team. It looks like out of my game is going to try and recontest here. Well, the spawn for that defense is close enough to try to do this, so why not? They're getting up to those ultimates. They definitely have an opportunity to take this. The rally is going to be the only ult so far on both sides. Transcendence is on both sides as well. The Graviton Surge is going to come out. The Earthshatter is going to follow. And a good boot kill on Shoes Money Crew is going to make this a 65 for Shoes Money Crew. The four members from Shoes Money Crew are on the ground, but a beautiful transcendence is going to keep them all alive from Slur outside of that mech. And now a sound barrier coming from both sides. Shoes Money Crew, good timing on that one. Good job to not layer those things. The Graphic Surge is coming much later than Shoes Money Crew, I think, expected. That could have been bad news for them as Self Destruct now coming from Barbie going into the back line Ooh. and getting both supports. That is a dream right there. Shoes Money Crew will be taking this first point, Kenobi. And that was such a 
a great self-destruct coming out from Barbecue there, understanding that the Reinhardt wasn't there to shield his teammates, throws it right onto the bridge, and everyone isn't able to speed away just in time. JK Law uh, across the map, charge kill onto Kaz, and they're just going right into the faces of out of my game right now. This is exactly what you want to see too, because why not, right? You have the ability to be this aggressive, so do it. You're going to just take time off the clock, and time is money here in Overwatch. And you're also getting all charged. That's the biggest thing too. Mao's in that last, in that aggressive push, got his gravits on. JK Lol got his shatter. Slur is very close again to that transcendence. And the way he sidestepped in that fight beforehand, that was absolutely clutch coming out for him. And with the, no support else for out of my game, this can be an easy win for Shoes Money Crew. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be that easy as out of my game. We're going to drop from the high ground. And that's going to be a boot kill. You hear that Lucio screaming slowly echo away. That means he's off of that environment. So this is evened up now. Shoes Money Crew could totally win this thing as the transcendence from Slur is going to be invested as he probably knows the graviton surge is a little while away from actually coming oh, to play. and an earth shatter is going to come down as well get one member mouse will be going down as well with that graviton surge so out of my game takes that high ground drop to their advantage surprise shoes money crew a little bit and choose money crew are going to have to try again but they do and will have five ultimates online and that's so good though for the side of out of my game you were able to force out the transcendence without using graviton yourself so you, now you're only going to have to burst through the damage of the sound or, or burst through the shielding coming out from gustav's sound barrier here whereas you're still yourself you have your transcendence to counteract the grab early grab on the jk lol oh my god what a, what sound good barrier. support from jk law we'll talk about that in just a second the earth that are going to be going down the ults upon ults for shoes money crew now all of them have been used self-destruct not going to find anything but polly's going to get the first kill here shoes money crew have a six v5 on this right now things have evened up just a little bit thanks to that self-destruct from out of my game but they're not as even as they want it to be as shoes money crew are going to maintain themselves on this payload and keep it moving they're going to clean this up they're going to get closer to that second point kenobi but what it's i want so sorry sorry i wanted to talk about jk and that support my apologies my friend because he was isolated in the grab the rest of out of my game sandwiched him but he did not die yeah, there was a stun that came out onto the charge that was going to get JK Lol to sub 200 health. Really good stun there from Polly to make sure that the charge didn't go through. And the sound barrier was able to negate the rest of the damage there coming out from the side of, of uh, out of my game there. So really nice coordinated team play and really good support play. All right, the Earth Shatter's coming down. Only one onto Gustav. Transcendence is there. Slur has been on point with these Transcendences so far on their attacking phase, but all of the time it seemed to have miraculously gone off the clock with a minute and 44 seconds left. Choose Money Crew, though, have a good advantage coming into this next attack. Cast that Transcendence, the only thing they really need to worry about. Yeah, and Wavefest is going to have this Graviton as well, and the unfortunate thing for Shu's Money Crew is you don't have a support ultimate since you used him in those last couple of fights. This really comes down a lot to barbecue on the Steva. If he's able to eat this Graviton that's going to come out from Wavefest, that's the best case scenario. But with that two second cooldown, they could, they've gotten really good at timing it out to make sure they're not eaten. You have to take that extra sense he of consideration, died. but he died. So out of my game, are going to give up some space to Shoes Money Crew because they don't have the resources to keep it. Shoes Money Crew, though, you know, they need to get these kills in a fast amount of time because eventually Wayfast will be back for another fight. Mouse will be getting two kills in at this one. JK holding on to that Earth Shatter. Actually, Shoes holding on to a lot of those ultimates. That's great for them. That target selection from Shu's Money Crew was nuts. They stunned the they stunned the Zarya, and then a right click comes in from uh, from Slur there to make sure the Zarya goes down. Understanding that the Zarya is their win condition with that graviton that they have. Great play and great aggressive play coming out from Shu's Money Crew here. With two minutes left, they want to get this a little bit more time than out of my game has. Well, Olu did just go down as well. So Shu's Money Crew also with six ultimates. This is going to be a banger of a fight coming up. Out of my game, though, a little bit less resource. The Graviton Surge is going to be first coming from way fast and then followed up by Shu's Money Crew. Self-Destruct coming from both sides, but only one finds a kill. That's going to be out of my game. That's huge for them. Is the Earth Shatter going to be knocking trolls onto the ground, but not much more other than the back line. The Fire Strike ripping through the back line of out of my game. And now the Earth Shatter from out of my game not really doing much either. So this is just going to go down to some left clicking until Olu gets to that rally and gives out of my game a little bit of an advantage for this fight. I can totally see them taking this once that rally is popped. Wolf is saved thanks to that rally and Inspire healing, but not for long. The D-Mech is going to be all Shoes Money Crew has. A minute and 19 seconds left for SMCEU to beat out of my game here and make sure they don't get to a game five. 
Oh, and I love how out of my game is playing so aggressive here, understanding the time that's left available to them. One minute left for Shoes Money Crew. This is last fight territory for them. They're gonna get one more fight, and Wayfest is close to that Graviton again. Hopefully he doesn't get blown up like he did in that last fight. Slur needs to get this transcendence. It's the only thing they have besides <laughs> barbecue eating it. Is that deja vu, Kudobi? How many times have we said that about Slur? When he has it, he uses them great. Out of my game's gonna have one of their own as well. So this is the last fight for Shoes Money Crew. The Graviton yeah, is way faster gonna be open up once again the boop upward is not going to do much other than displace some people the transcendence is going to not be enough to keep shoes money crew alive two members down good news is 32 seconds is enough to try this again and Slur had it just a second too late because JK Lull was already so low. And while there's a lot of healing coming out from Transcendence, you can still burst down that target if there's Discord slapped on him if he's 200 health. So great a presence of mind there to burst down JK Lull and win the fight that way. And coming into this next fight, again, Shoes don't really have that much left. Mao's close to this Graviton, but again, two support ults is available for out of my game. Oh, the charge is going to get stopped. I like that's why you got to check your corners out of my game has the earth shatter. Polly's going to be on the ground, but so is JK. Polly's going to be the one that goes down as Maz is going to get the grab time surge out before going down. The self-destruct not finding anything. That's what they needed. If Shoot Money Crew are going to be able to take this game, but they're just going to be taking themselves back to spawn and to a game five as Adamai game has pushed Shoot Money Crew to the limit, my friends. We're going to a game five. So now I think I'm probably going to bump my score down to a C, and then we'll see what happens <laughs> with game five to decide uh, where that score goes. Because, I mean, out of my game, again, we talked about this the entire series so far. This is the first time that Choose Money Crew has played any competition like the one they're seeing with out of my game. Yep. Out of my game is taking it to them basically time and time again, holding them to only two points and not even letting them get to that last turn to the third. So this is great play. Great play indeed, LaFon. Would you agree with that? Is out of my game playing better or is Hughes Money Crew playing worse right now? I think it's just a continuation of the gameplay we saw at the very start. These teams are even. It's not, yeah. both these teams are 2-0 and o for a reason. They are very, very good. And they're tops in our, you know, in our, in our predictions going into uh, the end of today. Like, these teams are playing the way we expected them to. And that's always really good. When you're fighting for that spot in contenders, again, we're fighting for that spot in the second highest play you can possibly They're fighting be for their jobs, right? Yeah. Yep. So I'm not surprised that the level of gameplay has been these good, this good between these two teams because that's what we expected from them. What's really cool, though, is that we're going to this map five and both these teams haven't choked, right? There's just sometimes like a little bit in that high-pressure situation where you're like, ooh, you didn't really want to make that play, but I'm not seeing that from these guys. What I'm actually seeing is a team that is buckling down and playing to their strengths, and when it comes down to those final fights, it's realistically just it, ultimates are w one of the reasons why an alt economy has been the story of this matchup throughout the entirety of the four maps we've played so far. So my question to you, Lafon, is let's go both teams here, right? Uh, Kenobi, Kenobi's been casting all day, so we'll <laughs> give him a break here in terms of analysis. So uh, in, in terms of these two teams, what is OMG and SMC going to do to lose this game? I know we're usually half glass full, but what is going to be the thing that OMG does to lose and the same side, the same thing on the other side? Uh, for for OMG, it's going to be the fact that uh, to lose, they're going to have to be less proactive on the Discord orbs. That's what it comes down to. JKL will have to survive longer. For SMC EU, the flip side is the case. Uh, they have to be uh, less effective in building supports, uh, ultimates, and uh, both of those things haven't been true thus far. So even though we're glass half empty sometimes, I think right now we're going to see uh, we're going to see me flip the script a bit back on you and uh, say, yeah, no, these guys are going to continue to do the same. But we saw through the first through. For, through the first four maps uh, with the with the good gameplay. And I actually expect J.K. Lull, if they go to uh, control, we might see more Winston from him because his Reinhardt hasn't been necessarily what he... Uh, when he goes up against Progi specifically, it. it's been tough. He can't play it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, but we need a little bit of a break before going into Matt 5. We'll be back with the decider for Shoes Money Crew EU and OMG in just a second.
We are in the deciding game of Shoes Money Crew EU versus out of my game, OMG. We're in game five. We're going to start things off downtown Kenobi. LaFont told us why these two teams might lose. I'm actually going to ask you the same question. What are you going to be looking to not see from these teams? Uh, I really want to see Olu not play as aggressive and out of position as before. It's taking, it's it's putting a lot of pressure onto the rest of the supports from out of my game to try and keep him alive. And you can't be using all of your resources on Brigitte. You need to save it for people like Wayfast, like Progi. So that's really what I want to see happen coming out from out of my game. All right. What about Shoes Money Crew? You got a little bit of time. Uh, Shoes Money Crew, I, I really want to see, I want to see Mouse pop off here. I think that's really what I, where I want to see them. I want to see him get those grabs quickly, get that high charge, and try and duel with Wayfast, because if Wayfast wins these grab wars, it's going to be disastrous for Shoes Money Crew. Uh, Shoes Money Crew losing the poke war right now. That's why Polly is going to be going down, down in my game, taken low, but not out so far. They have a 65. The point opens in four seconds. They will have a little bit of an advantage going on to it, but Wayfast, Olu, and Twolls are all pretty low so far. Shoes Money Crew have come back with a little bit more HP, making sure that they'll get, they're going to be taking a better defensive position on this point as they do cap it first. And again there, it's Olu dying first, and that's disastrous, especially when the fights are lasting that long because Shoes Money Crew was able to get their people back on to the point take that fight with six and when brigitte dies that early again we talked about cogs in a machine brigitte is probably one of the most important cogs and goats and losing it that quickly is always a bad time uh losing any cog in any machine right <laughs> no matter how big or how small that is the thing about ghosts everyone has to do their part and it's been so rehearsed at this point all teams are pretty good at it out of my game going to be losing their first member two uh, two members at the beginning of this graviton surge choose money crew doing exactly what you wanted them to do you wanted to see moz pop off we saw that there at the beginning of that fight yeah, basically 25% above in all charge for against Wayfast, so that's really good. I like the proactive use of the Graviton there, and Shoes Money Crew won that fight with just their grab. They didn't use anything else, so they have five ultimates. They're looking comfy in this next fight with 50%. That's like one or two fights left for out of my game to try and even take this back. Let's see how many they'll be able to get us out of my game. I think he's a little surprised by how close Shoes Money Crew was on this defense. The Earth Shatter is going to be going down. It looks like a couple do fall in the process as he's going to get a charge kill in a deed. So JK, who was strong in the first game, is finally coming back alive in this one. And they forced out the Transcendence as well from Kass, so that's absolutely huge. Tools gets demecked, and they aren't going to get the Stagger, and they're just going to wait for this Diva to have to go back to spawn and switch. That's absolutely huge as well. So out of my game here... Oh, wait, no, they got Tools! Slur! That's nuts! They have to wait another 10% for this point. Well, it looks like Tolls made the decision to engage upon the team to die, and that's exactly what we saw. But like you said, it's going to give free... I, you know, they were in one fight territory position regardless, so maybe they took that into account, but in the end, it's still not best case scenario, right? You want to play cleaner than that. As the Graviton Search and the Transcendence are going to be coming out, but the Graviton Search from Moz is going to be eaten, and that's going to mean that there's going to be less resources. That's the kind of the word of the day today for these two teams, as out of my game in the nick of time are finally going to be bringing this on their side, but the hard part is, is they did give up 99% to Shoes Money Crew. That was very clutch there from Tools eating that grab, because if that grab goes through, I'm not sure with the ultimates that they had, if they were able to sustain through all of that damage, and that was going to be coming out from that Graviton, and they used a lot of resources, like you mentioned, in that last fight, whereas Shoes Money Crew didn't use that many. Gustav is still going to have the Sound Barrier, which they can use to try, and maybe aggressive push onto the point. Koss, again, we keep saying it, if he can get this ultimate before the fight happens, that's the best case scenario for him. Yeah, same thing with Slur, but Koss has been, I, I think, not very consistent on these Transcendences, so uh, far, but is that Olu at being out of position, or is that Cass doing it late? It doesn't matter. They need to fix it at this point, wearing that five. Out of my game, still on control right nice. now. Up the point, really good shatter, getting three on the ground. If anything, that's going to keep Shoes Money Crew from attacking this objective for another 15%. Yeah, really, really nice shatter there. Really proactive shatter coming out from Brogy there, and you are, as you mentioned, going to give a little bit of time over to yourselves. You are 50% right now, and it's maybe one or two fight territory here. If out of my game holds again for this next push, it's going to be the last fight, but Shoes Money Crew coming back with a vengeance. All six ultimates about to have for them. It's going to be rough here for out of my game, especially with only just the transcendence available for them. <laughs> oh, look at, Ooh. wow. That is disturbing, my friends. Yeah. I never want, yeah. I never want to see that again. I have mom, I have mom issues, guys. Don't trigger me. Anyway, out of my game is going to have that rally and I have that damage mitigation. They're going to need it coming in with Shoes Money Crew six ultimates that haven't found any value. I find, especially with the goats, a lot of the time, Shatter. these six ultimates don't really find anything as the Shatter is going to be coming down, getting two kills from out of my game. And now all of a sudden, Shoes Money Crew are on the back foot. They have given 82% to out of my 
my game on this point, and it's gonna be tough to get back on it. Progi has been so insanely clutch with all of these shatters here. Hitting clutch shatter after clutch shatter, getting those three in that first fight, and then getting two in that last fight. JK Lowell gonna make the desperation switch over to Hammond. This is last fight territory, foregoing the Reinhardt completely just to try and get back onto this point. Yeah, they've got to get oh, on the point. No. They do trigger overtime, so I guess that's a good thing. The grab time surge now coming from us. At least this one doesn't get eaten as well. Self-destruct not finding anything. Choose money crew. This is what you call a bungled opportunity. They were up 99-0. I think got a little complacent, and now they're going to lose this round. Not only that, but there was that one fight earlier when out of my game was around 70%. The Choose Money Crew had ult advantage. They had six ultimates going into that fight, and they lost the fight because Progi hit a monster shatter onto the back line. So that's really, these are the types of moments where you can't be losing. This is what separates contenders teams from contenders trials teams. Fights like that, winning fights that you should be winning. For the first time, all match so far, out of my game is on a match point. They need to win at Sanctuary here if they want to move up and join Young and Beautiful as the undefeated top two. You know, and something that we were talking about off camera a little bit is we can definitely see a world, Kenobi, where whoever loses this game misses out on contenders because of this game. Yeah, it's so important, especially because Young and Beautiful is another team who has been tested and is also uh, undefeated as well. So the winner of this is going to remain undefeated and one loss with just a round robin format and the team's available, only two spots left. That's pretty just awful for you to lose one game. It means so much. Every map and every win series matters. Now, Shoes Money Crew, they were going to play Winston, much the, I bet Lafon was pretty happy that JK Law was going to be on Winston, but now he's going to switch back over to the Rhino. Yeah, whoever loses this game needs to win against Young and Beautiful to really maintain their presence. But that's a little bit too far to the future. We still have to finish this one out as Adam My Game putting themselves onto the objective first. The Fire Strike ripping through a lot of the, the back line there. Is Brogan going to find Polly for the first blood for Sanctuary? 6v4 now for Adam My Game. The momentum has continued from the last map. And out of my game looking so good here. And with the ultimates that they farmed up in that last fight, it's going to be very difficult for Shoes Money Crew to even try and get back onto the point. This time it's Polly who goes down out of position over aggressively instead of Olu. Olu has usually been the one so far who's been out of position on the Brigitte, getting a little bit too aggressive. But this time it's Polly, and you can see the difference when the Brigitte is alive. 91% to rally for Olu, only 36% for Polly. That's a huge difference, Kenobi. This means that Shoes Money Crew are going to be delayed in when they can actually tackle this objective. Because right now, they're really trying to uh, choose money crew only have that trans so let's see if that's going to be enough but oh cost going to be going down with that transcendence holding on to it might have been a good thing the transcendence from slur is going to try to give choose money crew an opportunity at this objective because they do have numbers right now as Proki's going to go down as well out of my game had more resources they do not have more bodies right now as choose money crew will be taking this from out of my game the flop has happened and that was a really clutch kill from Slur there, able to get rid of Koss, who had Transcendence, and who probably would have been able to match the Transcendence coming out from uh, coming out from Slur in that last fight, and the sustain battle would have happened. But again, out of my game, got 48% in those last two fights. That's a lot of ultimate, that's a lot of percentage on that point. That's one or two fights, one maybe, and you win this map, and you take that 3-0. Barbie has the self-destruct. Choose Money Crew have three, possibly four other ultimates out of my game. Honestly, in the same position right now. Olu far away from that rally. So because Olu is so far ahead, now they're in a position. This is how Overwatch even selfs out, where one team has a rally. That's going to be Choose Money Crew. JK getting taken down below half. The armor is going to be back. Self-destruct not going to get anything. The pit is going to be stopped by the Graviton Surge, but still no a kill. And a beautiful self-destruct. That displacement there is the reason why out of my game might be taking this point right Right back, Kenobi. And that was such a good charge from Progi. He was able to get the shield out of the way. JK Law wasn't able to shield the self destruct coming in, unfortunately. And now, out of my game, are going to take this point back with 48% available to them, 50% for Shoes Money Crew. But Shoes Money Crew coming back, have some ultimates to their name. They're going to have the shatter. JK Law has hit some good ones so far. He needs to hit a big one right now. But out of my game are in control right now. They're in control of their destiny. If they take this game, they will be taking down Shoes Money Crew and really setting themselves up to get into contenders. Out of my game still has that rally, will have that transcendence. Shoes Money Crew gonna go ahead and use that rally because they know what's coming. Out of my game is gonna be coming, or Shoes Money Crew is gonna be walking up to out of my game and Cass is gonna be going down right before the transcendence comes online. As Shoes Money Crew gonna have a one man advantage during this fight so far. Out of my game gonna be really close to that. Graviton Surge is way faster going to use it what's the best strategy here is it to stall is it to give it up and try one more time but it's now going to be let's get to 99 percent let's get to one fight territory the stall is real we've seen a ton of stall including on Volskaya, and now here on sanctuary shoots money crew do eventually flip it but out of my game got 87 percent
And this next fight is going to be an ultimate bloodbath coming out from both of these two teams. You have the transcendence from Slur available to counteract what Wayfast is bringing. Mouse is going to have his, trans uh, his Graviton as well. So it's going to be a Graviton and transcendence combo. Which one happens first and which one is going to get the most value out of it? That's what we need to know. Because if Out of My Game wins this next fight, they're going to win the series. Is that going to be happening? Out of My Game have their destiny in their own hands. Win this fight, win the game. She's Money Crew actually in the same position. They win this fight, they'll win this round. They're going to give themselves another opportunity as the Graviton Zerg is going to come from Shoes Money Crew first. And they're going to get Ooh. two kills there thanks to that self-destruct. Out of My Game now missing some members. JK going down though means that this is going to get a little bit more interesting than we might have expected. Slur does have that transcendence. Out of My Game going to be looking at another engage somehow before the clock runs out. And the Diva's gonna have to just get to the point by itself to try and stall best they can. 98% with this is last fight territory for both these teams here. The shatter is huge from Progi. Oh, uh, the Earth Shatter is gonna get Maz onto the ground. That means there's gonna be less protection for the rest of the team. Out of my game, though, getting pushed it's off Ian. the objective. Way fast grab, gonna get eaten as well. That is just a good story of how Shoes Money Crew were able to just bring it back from the break. Shoes Money Crew were about to lose. They did not have control of the point. They took it at 87%, and they take it overall 100 to 87. This game's going the distance. And I don't think we could have expected anything else coming out from both of these teams. Map five, the last map, they're even. Lafana said it the entire time we've been talking about it. These teams are even, and this is really what we deserve here. We deserve this last map between these two teams to see who's going to win. I definitely expect, since it's mecha base, we're going to be seeing some May play coming out from both of these teams. It's so good. Whoever gets the first advantage with those walls has a much better chance of winning this map than uh, the other team. So look out for Polly and Wayfast and their wall usage and who is gonna win that first battle because that's pivotal for positioning and winning this map. This is it. This is gonna be the last round of today. This is game five. Both of these teams are two and oh. One will remain undefeated with Young and Beautiful going into the second week of trials. Both are repping that May. Seeing these two teams, one might be a little bit better than the other so far in terms of positioning and accuracy. I'm actually going to say Wayfest might have the advantage here on this May. What do you think, Kenobi? Oh, JK Lol is down, though, and that's huge. That's going to be a lot of just out of my game. Oh, that wall. What a wall from Wayfest, though. But he's no. literally caught out by himself, so that's disastrous for him. He did not know how good that wall was. That's that's what I saw there, right? It's like, oh, I guess they can't escape. And then they, they saw the May, they went and went upon that main now he is out Jeez, money crew you lose that point though out of my game are gonna get the first percentage points here because viana are raiding orbs from above Jeez, money crew gets some good damage from slur there 72 percent already cast doing the same thing as trades are happening right now but Ooh, he's money crew, oh and he's gonna be off Jeez, money crew are gonna have those three kills to out of my game one Jeez, money crew will be turning this over but out of my game at least got some percentage along the way and now Shoes Money Crew is going to have the positioning advantage that you really love to have with the May. You can put these walls down wherever you want, section off the rest of the enemy team available to come through those like tight uh, chokeholds available to them. And they also have a lot of ult advantage. They have Splurge Transcendence. They're going to have JK Lull's Shatter, and they're going to have the Blizzard as well. But the thing is, they don't have the Blizzard, they don't have the Graviton to combo with the Blizzard, which is what you always want to see to guarantee that Blizzard getting hit. Well, the Blizzard also takes away a lot oh! of the map. The Earth Shatter is going to take away the mouse from the map as well as that's going to get three members. Progi popping off right now on that Reinhardt. Going to get the kill onto Barbie as well. Out of my game, losing one member, two members, but they're both supports. So Shoes Money Crew are totally still in this, Sound especially barriers? with that Sound Barrier. Polly's going to use that Blizzard as well. The grab oh, is going to be comboed, but the charge is stopped because of the Blizzard. Did get connected. Now Blizzard is going to come out from out of my game now. This is going to find a little bit more value. The answer is yes, as Maz and Polly are both frozen right now and are both going to go down. Out of my game looking good to flip this point. Wayfest had such a clutch wall there to save Progi from that blizzard that had happened from Shoes Money Crew, and now out of my game has the advantage coming into this next fight. They still have the transcendence available to them if they want to continue to sustain, where Shoes Money Crew, no support ultimates to speak of anytime soon. Out of my game about to have two of them, and Progi gonna have this shatter, and as we've seen so far with Progi, he is always money with these shatters in these clutch moments. Let's see if you're right. Are you the seer? Are you the great predictor? Beautiful wall separating Barbie from the rest of the team who is on Zarya right now. You know, using that diva for the rest of the game. Now switching it up on the last one. I don't know how I feel about that. I know May is good, but hey, you gotta feel comfortable too.
And the best thing about that is that you didn't use any ultimates to win that fight, right? You just get the section off, you get that one kill, and now you're able to continue to get more percentage, get more time on that clock. 63%, one or oh two more my fights, God. this is a win for out of my game. Oh my God, another good wall. They cannot figure out how to break through with this May. I was, that wall is going to be how you get triggered as well. That's how you start Ooh. something. Wayfast almost got died there, but he hit the ice block just at the right second. He would have been headshot there from Polly, and he would have went down. That would have been such a great. That would have been such a great uh, guidance there for Shoes Money Crew to try to get back onto this point. Shoes Money Crew have the combo of the Groudson and the Blizzard. That might be what they need to try and get back onto this point. They're gonna try it. Last fight territory though. If out of my game wins, they win the series. Out of my game gets one or two picks. No, they get picked oh, on some stuff. Pass is gonna be down with that transcends the blizzard. It's gonna be comboed with that grab. Brogy's gonna be frozen. She's money crew not out of this yet. You thought it was over. You see six check marks on out of my game side. She's money crew doesn't care. They're gonna it's take it. It's an absolute disaster that Koss dies there because you lose the transcendence in great aggressive play from Shoes Money Crew, understanding that the trance is down. We can now just roll in with this Blizzard Graviton combo. They kept their support ultimates, all three of them available for this next fight, but out of my game, you have six ultimates. There has to be a hero right here. There's no diva to eat the Gravitons. Oh, the wall's gonna go up. The grab's gonna go on top of the wall. Shoes Money Crew are struggling right now to stay alive, but they're doing it, my friends, as the sound barrier is enough. The Earth Shatter goes through. No kills just Big yet. Other than on mouse. Big shot. Coming from Shoes Money Crew, but there is one more fight available for out of my game. How close is Shoes Money Crew gonna hold to their spawn? They could be taking advantage of this. Is crazy. Let's wait for one second, Kobe. I know you've got some stuff. Let's take a breath. Ready? So everyone at home can do the same thing. This is the last fight, Kobe. Yeah, JK Lol hit a monster shatter there and coming into this next fight. Not that many ultimates to talk about. There's the sound barrier there for out of my game, and it goes in. This is the last fight here, Boop. Sound barrier is gonna be all that they have for a little while longer. Is out of my game. We're gonna suffer oh, the first dead. casualty. Shoes money crew is gonna be full cool on it. Sick. So the upset is looking like it might not happen. But wait, he's gonna get that double kill. This is a lot more close than a lot of people thought. Shoes money crew though need to get some more kills. Out of my game really closed this thing out. Out of my game still another kill. Sure. Sure. He was just back. Three members left for shoes money crew. Two members for out sure. of my game. The wall comes oh. down and the end game goes to shoes. Money Crew, what a thrilling five game set. I'm gonna stop yelling, my friends, because wow, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. The latter half of that game is probably some of the best Overwatch I've seen in terms of entertainment and play. What an incredible, incredible series coming out from both of these teams. And Suge Money Crew just at the very end able to bring it back Ooh. and again. Oh man, it's just so unfortunate for this side of out of my game. And in that last fight, it was it looked like it started off really well for the side of out of my game. They got the picks that they needed. And unfortunately, again, it was Olu dying on Brigitte first. And that is the worst case scenario for any composition like that. Oh, what, what a game. We were all lucky to watch that. I have been sent back to puberty with my <laughs> because of that game. LaFon, can you soliloquy for just a second to give us a break, please? Uh, yeah, can I you. just give a shout out to JK Lol, who oh I have God. said consistently that his Ryan is not as good as his Winston. And then he pulls a shatter like that, that out of his back pocket. Nuts, dude, oh dude my you're God. down four ultimates game to saving two. Shatter. Game, game saving, saving shatter, shatter. <laughs> absolutely no doubt in my mind That's whatsoever. One for the real. Well, let's That's let's one all for the real. let's all remember that that all started with a pick onto Cass with uh with yeah, that, that, that was available. disastrous. That was you, but here's the thing: even with that pick off on Cass, it's still a one fight theoretically for OMG when they walk back in because the Blizzard wasn't necessary to that graph combo that uh, that Choose Money Crew used, right? Cos got picked off early. They used the Graviton Surge to clean up. Okay, good so far. But they're down three people when that Blizzard is used. You don't need to use that one. So then you walk into the next fight. You've only got the Sound Barrier and Earth Shatter. And OMG is sitting on six ultimates, right? Yeah. Like, just simple math tells you six to two. I it seems it like it should go to OMG. Oh, yeah. Right, not not anymore. After <laughs> like they they had six full ultimates there, yeah. they were yeah. unable to bring it up. And I think, I, and I think I can be pretty accurate. That is that is exactly where lack of experience comes into play. Yes, it's definitely. That that exact moment where these things are hard to practice. Moments like that, you only get practice in, in games like this, mm -hmm. right? And so the more you get exposed to that, the better they'll be in those situations. But they all press Q at about the same time. <laughs> yeah, they stopped the charging Reinhardt, but in the end, they just gave too much away it's like you get a nice check 
from your job and then you spend it all and then you don't have a job the next day, right? That's almost exactly what happened. It's it's super unfortunate for OMG, but you gotta give oh, credit to Shoes Money Crew. Yeah, sh you do have to give yeah. credit to Shoes Money Crew. I think pound for pound, this is some of the best Overwatch we've seen in a while. Like this is yeah. good.